Hey guys, welcome back to another review video. In today's video, we are reviewing the game <laughs> Remnant 2. So, so far, I've been playing the game for quite a bit of time now. I'm having a pretty fun time with the game. Um, the graphics look okay on it, but they definitely could be better. And another downside of the game, it's only 13 hours long. You're paying, you're paying $49 for this game. When you first start the game for a little bit, you're only going to have guns pretty much. The game is straightforward. You pretty much see monsters, you can punch them or shoot them. Eventually in the game, you're going to unlock classes, which give you different abilities, different perks, and stuff like that. But the first hour, I think, at the beginning of the game, you're stuck with just playing all the guns and stuff like that. The game does feature four different classes you can choose from. The Dog Handler is a solo player class, or it could be a teamwork utility class. You have a pet dog, which whenever you go down will revive you. It can also attack enemies, and you have a medium to close range weapon. Second up, we have the Hunter, aka Team Sniper. He is a hunter that specializes in range, damage, precision, and marking enemies. His dead right hunter can extend the duration of their active skills by dealing range weak point damage. Next up, we have the Challenger, aka the Team Heavy class. He excels in close range to medium range combat. He has survivability. He has a die heart perk, which is basically if he gets a fatal blow landed on him, he'll self revive himself. Next up, we have the Team Medic. The Medic specializes in survivability with advanced healing and relic effectiveness. He also comes with a long, I'm sorry, medium to close range weapon, which is the LMG. This game also comes with mod crafting, which as you, as you kill enemies and bosses and stuff, you get different types of pieces from enemies. You can use that to craft different types of mobs, damage to healing, different stuff like that. This game also comes with a weapon upgrader guy. Basically, as you do the dungeon and do different things. You start to accumulate iron, scrap, stuff like that. That's what you use to upgrade your weapons, to upgrade your gear. And you can also use that to also buy stuff from the weapons and armor vendors as well. To get better gear with better stats, stuff like that. Challenger class is pretty straightforward. You come with a giant claymore sword, which is really good for high end damage. You come with a heavy duty shotgun, which is close to mid damage. You have your revolver, which is mid to far long range damage. Think of Elden Ring. Whenever you die, you pretty much have like those circles. Whenever you die and you're farther in a certain part of the map, and whenever you die, it will respawn you right in that point right there. Me personally, guys, I wait for a sale in this game. It's only 13 hours long. The graphics look kind of not the best in the world on it, and it's only a $49 game, plus tax would be 50 So me personally, I'd wait for a sale on it. I'm going to rate it a 4 out of a 10 stars. But uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy today, like and subscribe. Powerplay signing out. Peace.